we're at that point where we are beginning to see the light of the planetary mission, not just the individual mission, not just the mission of the nation. And it's something to awake to because our individ individual mission doesn't go away and the mission of the nation doesn't go away. It's just that it's held in a larger context, in a larger reality. And so there's awakening going on, you might say in stages. It doesn't mean it's not happening, but it does mean this, that if you're an awake person, you have the opportunity to look around and witness the ones who haven't woken up yet. Painful. It's painful. It doesn't mean there's not awakening happening. It doesn't mean there's not something incredible happening on the planet. But it does mean that we're in the position of witnessing it. The central enemy, public enemy number one, is simply ignorance. Ignorance. Why are people doing what they're doing? It's simply the lack of having awoken. Is it not? An, an awake person who actually sees that their destiny is tied in with the destiny of all humanity, that their destiny is the destiny of the planet. Their life is changed irrevocably. You can't act the same way once you know that. It's not trying to be good. It's not trying to be nice to the next person. It's not pretending. It's just you know that your future is tied up with the future of everybody else. To someone who has awoken, it is obvious beyond obvious that there are not separate loves. That your love and my love is the same love. It's sourced from the same place and it's for the same thing. Yes, it finds expression in unique ways. Just like this whole planet has many levels to it. Yes, it's multifaceted. There are many faces. There are many tribes and many nations. But there's only one planet and there's only one body of humanity. And there's only one love that we're all knowing. Yes, multifaceted. It comes through you differently. And it's for many things. It's holding many things together. And it's powering many things. But it, in truth, is one love. And it is only ignorance to think it is something else. It is one love that I cannot dole out here and then dole out here and then not give here. It's one love and it's every place anyway. It is one love. Awakeness doesn't mean that we should stop caring for ourselves as an individual and for our family and for our nation. An awake person is left to balance those things in the larger whole. But it does mean that an awake person has gotten over their obsession with themselves, their obsession with me and mine, because they're seeing a larger picture. This is our unique role if we're awake in this marathon. And it's exciting. Whatever else what's happening in the world is today, is it not exciting? It's dramatic. And we are not just witnesses to it, but we are a, a lead character in this unfolding planetary drama with our parts to play. There are so many things that we're meant to interface with and we're meant to use all our ingenuity and all the power of our creative expression not to fight each other. We have a false enemy here. We're coming to a place in our awakening where we're meant to rally together 
and use the power and the intelligence that we're gifted with for the purpose for which it was given. 